Economic growth in the European Union turning negative in the second quarter, despite some individual countries staying in the green, Germany. But this next politician has a plan to change Europe and liberate his country. Nigel Farage is the leader of the UK Independence Party. Oh, and he's been mouthy on this subject. And he's joining us now in a Fox Business exclusive. <laughs> yeah, once again. Listen, we, can, we can't see those clips enough because you're not wrong when you talk about how uh, the, the European European zone, the Eurozone, of which the UK is not a part, um, looks like the Titanic and all of the comments that you've made. But has anything changed since you went on that tirade a couple of months ago? Do you see it any differently, Nigel? No. No, not, I mean, not a bit. In fact, things are actually getting worse. I mean, we've now got Mario Monti, who is the unelected, appointed Prime Minister of Italy, almost begging for his country to be bailed out because, as he says, he fears that Parliament may derail the project. So what they're actually saying now in Europe is we must not let democracy intervene with our great grand project. So no, nothing's got any better. Uh, growth is diminishing. And whilst you're quite right, right to say that the UK is outside the Eurozone, we're still part of the European single market. Correct. And these growth figures, these growth figures are not just a reflection of what's going wrong in the Eurozone. And we know that in, you know, countries like Spain and Portugal and Greece, the whole thing's a disaster. We're also talking about the fact that the UK and the Eurozone are part of something that is called the European Social Market Model. And what that means is that we now believe in Europe that we haven't got to work very hard, we can all pay ourselves huge minimum wages, we can all take six months off if our wife has a kid, um, and we're living in this sort of noddy land where, frankly, we're not facing economic reality. So, you know, even though the UK is not part of the Eurozone, we are being constrained and constricted by, be by being part of something that, frankly, begins to resemble communism um, in terms of its belief that the state and government and legislation creates jobs. It doesn't. It destroys them. Nigel, you know, and talking of naughty land, uh, the UK you think should be out of the European Union. What would that do to trade? Would it be more expensive for the UK to actually do business with the remaining European countries? I mean, what's the benefit? What's the UK well, getting out of it? Well, what's really interesting is that the UK now trades with the EU at a massive, massive deficit. Uh, 2010 mm. is the last year for which we have figures, and European companies sold to us £50 billion pounds worth of goods more than we sold to them. So, you know, the idea that Mercedes would not sell their cars in Britain if we left the EU, or that my mm -hmm. favourite Spanish Rioja producer would refuse <laughs> to sell, you know, sell me a case of red wine, uh, frankly, is ludicrous. But what it would do for us is it would open up our ability to have trade deals, free trade deals in particular, with the rest of the world. And okay. there is a very big English-speaking world out there um, and we've turned our backs on it, which is madness. Uh, the Spanish Prime Minister has announced that he will meet with Germany and Italian leaders in the coming months. Now, the whole premise is that they will, the European Union, will, will lend to them and they will open up these facilities if they officially ask. Are the Spanish going to officially <laughs> ask and what must you think of that? Well, I mean, the Spanish, in fact, will be forced to ask. Um, but think of the irony of the Spanish Prime Minister meeting the unelected appointed Italian Prime Minister, <laughs> Mr. Monti. I mean, look, for goodness sake, Italy's going bust itself! And the first Spanish bailout, and this is absolutely true, the agreement was to lend a hundred billion to Spain to help its banks at a rate of three percent, and Italy was 20% of that package, despite the fact Italy has to pay 7% to borrow that money on the international markets. So, I mean, the whole thing is an absolute nonsense. And, and, and you know, if Spain's in trouble, just wait till this circus moves on to Italy. And, well, with Nigel, what is the solution to all of this then? Just break up the Eurozone and go back to the way it was? Uh, break up the Eurozone, recognise that it's a total misconstruction, recognise that floating currencies work rather like a golf handicap works. You know, I could go out and play against Tiger Woods with a mm -hmm. handicap, uh, but if I, was pegged, if I was pegged to the same level as Tiger Woods, um, it wouldn't work for me. And that's effectively what you've got right. when you tie Greece and Germany together because they're completely different economies. That's step one. Step two. 
is to recognise that you don't get something for nothing in life. It's to get rid of crazy employment legislation that puts people off from employing people, particularly young people. And the third thing, and the EU is the biggest culprit of a lot in the world of, with this, is to recognise that carbon dioxide emissions do not mean we're all going to be burnt to a crisp within the next three months, and that what we're doing by putting massive, massive taxes on our electricity prices, uh, by uh, basically penalising manufacturing companies mm -hmm. for producing carbon dioxide, is we are deindustrializing Europe and transferring all of that to India and China for no good reason. Well, Nigel, Those three things would revolutionise Europe. As we say goodbye, I must say I was in London for the Olympics. You all did a, a fine, fine job. And that final closing ceremony, I mean, how can you not love George Michael and the Spice Girls? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never thought I'd say it, but it was great to see the Spice Girls back. <laughs> and hey, Team GB. My <laughs> thoughts <laughs> you know, Team oh, GB. GB. There you go. Nigel Farage this, of UK this, Independence Party. You. Are you surprised he's with the Independence Party? <laughs> no. See you next time. Great. See you next time.